The global markets are freezing, literally. Uh, uh, Sumaira was saying that mm. the news item is, uh, uh, it's colder in the United States than it is in Antarctica. Okay. Uh, it's one of those uh, <laughs> uh, crazy weather uh, developments. But uh, there is a bit of a chill in global markets as well for fear of slowdown. But today we may strike a different course and I'm pinning my faith on the financials. Mm. Because the access bank numbers were even better than expected. And although you know uh, these stocks have seen a rally and BOB went into its results fairly strong, uh, it's just that they have delivered. And Axis has promised actually uh, a return to ROE of 18%, which is better than what the street was expecting. Uh, Abhishek Kothari was so excited by that 18% uh, guidance. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, CLSA has guided uh, uh, for a price target of about 840. Mm -hmm. And therefore, my sense is that if uh, the ADR's performance is repeated here, that will be enough to fuel the bulls. And also, the negativity of the last few days surrounding the uh, NBFC stocks will now be restricted to only DHFL and mm. much of it has played out. So perhaps the waning of that negativity also will act as a positive. Okay, well not just that, you know, you also have other numbers, right? HCL Tech reported very good set Excellent. of numbers. Bajaj Finserv's general, yeah, ITs, if yeah. you 5.6% constant currency growth. Bajaj Finserv's numbers are very good. Okay, we're getting carried away with the <laughs> results. Uh, but, you know, uh, before anything, I just want to wish Anuj a very happy birthday. So, we have a birthday boy in the house. Oh, Lata, and how could, a green tie. <laughs> one sec, Lata, how could you forget that? <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Anuj, uh, what's your birthday wish? Wait, let's let the, let the song play. <laughs> Let him blush. <laughs> you know, I always had a question. What do you do when people sing happy birthday to you? What should your expression be? That's what Anuj's expression no, I, is. Uh, Older, no. wiser expression. Yes, uh, I tell you something. Uh, this, this, is a special day. Talk. this is <laughs> This is a special day for me. Uh, always uh, felt, you know, uh, of course, you know, I, I, I sometimes happy feel that uh, my, <laughs> my, my, my team members at uh, you no, know, I think TV, TV, let him talk. Always, let him. Uh, always, you know, on my birthday, you know, make it special. And uh, this is a special day for me not because uh, you know on this day I was born of course uh, <laughs> this is the day that you know 16 years back uh, I was hired into CNBC TV 18 oh, okay. today was the day in 2003 I still remember that day you know uh, uh, you know young 23 year old boy who you know just wanted to do something interesting and uh, you know God's been kind uh, so that's where my birthday, well, resolution, you know, I think I owe it to people around me to get a bit fitter, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm 39 now, next year will be 40, so uh, I think uh, if I have to play yes, with my daughter. you do it to your children any way to, to remain fit. Exactly, to, to remain fit. So perhaps uh, next year when you play this... <laughs> Okay, well, on that optimistic note, 39, wow, do you even feel like you're going to be 40? Like you teenager. stop talking <laughs> age. I feel, age I feel, is just a number, I, right? I still feel like a teenager, you know. I, 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 you know, I think, I, think I, I can still, uh, you know, beat a lot of people in terms of my enthusiasm of watching, you know, midnight matches, staying awake for Did you, for matches. Sure. Did you lately run the half marathon? I, I think that's a resolution you can take. Okay, next year. You remember I'll... we both ran we the both relay ran. marathon. Yes, we, we did. Really? About what, five years back? Yes, and the half marathon about ten years back, yes. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> today we're going to get lunch, so that's all I care about. Uh, happy birthday, Anuj, once again. And uh, let's talk about the markets then, you know, because it has been sort of really range-bound. Mm. Today is going to be all about financials, uh, Axis Bank, Bank of Baroda, even HCL Tech for that matter. You think it's just going to be that stock-specific and largely the market will wait till the budget before taking a directional call? You know, my sense is it will be about financials but not the ones that are so obvious like the Axis and the Bank of Baroda. Uh, and I don't say it because it's my birthday. I just general, genuinely feel good about today. Mm -hmm. You know, about the market because there's just too much negativity. You say in that the when market. you wear the green tie. <laughs> yes. That you're feeling good about uh, it. The only caveat is, uh, while there was no sting in the Cobra, uh, literally speaking, uh, it opens up the political risk. Uh, let no one have any doubt that yesterday was about politics more than anything else. Uh, so, in that sense, uh, that's a bit of a risk which is back in the market and that would keep financials a bit vulnerable up until election because uh, this is not the first and this won't be the last. There will be many now going forward. Uh, having said that, yesterday's low on the Nifty 10,583 is a very strong support. And I think if, if yesterday's low holds, then perhaps we can make a move towards 10,800 on expiry for two reasons. That's the 20-day moving average and that would mean a doji as well. Doji is when you start and end the month at the same level, at around 10,800. So, that's uh, interesting. I think yesterday's low of Bank Nifty is very strong support. It's also the 200-day moving average, right on the dot. 
200 day moving average uh, more than access i think icici bank really holds the key to the bank nifty holding 200 day moving average it was a consensus buy a very strong stock all of a sudden it became the weakest stock uh, we saw that move on stock from 380 now all the way down to 340 trading below the 20 and 50 day moving average but still above the 200 day moving average so let's see if, if that can hold but that's at the index level i think in the broader market the signs of breakdown were very clear uh, two weeks back itself uh, the mid cap index now down about 7% for the month so 6 or 7% uh, i think over there some earnings disappointment perhaps is weighing in you know even the likes of godrej consumer for example mm. the this market right now doesn't have any scope for companies uh, missing on any parameter because the valuations are so high so that's a bit of a risk factor but i think on the index perhaps uh, today sh- could be a good day though if yesterday's low is broken then that that theory would be out of the window Okay well it's going to be very stock specific today so let's kick start the show on that note plenty of opinion coming your way as well first let's take a look at what our wise experts have to say Sai Mukherjee of Nomura is our expert for the day he says fiscal prudence is to- in totality is likely to remain limited while the decline in oil prices and benign inflation are the key positives fiscal risks and political uncertainty are likely to keep valuation expansion in check Nomura remains stock selective and their topics are ICICI bank access bank LNT M&M and Maruti Suzuki. Okay, interesting ones there. Yes, I, I guess you should buy industries. Uh, that's what everyone said uh, uh, during the market results. Well, uh, money market cues uh, important today because the dollar is weak and therefore there is a bit of strength uh, and positivity for emerging markets. Pramit Bhavat of Veracity says negative domestic uh, equity markets as well as increased crude oil prices will be pressure on the P. No. Okay, uh, trading range for uh, the day. Uh, for the spot ISD, USD INR would be 71 to 7150 it could i mean of course crude is at 61.3 a little higher than yesterday but my sense is dollar weakness is uh, also an important factor okay on the bonds uh, dhawal dalal of uh, edelweiss says all eyes will be on the interim budget and its guidance on fiscal deficit for fy19 and 20 the gross borrowing amount as well as credible assessment of revenues and farm package for fy20 will key, be the key focus he expects the old 10 year benchmark to trade between 7 and a half to 7.6% in the near term <coughs> okay it's uh, over to mangalam now for the world view Well, it was a mixed close on Wall Street in yesterday's trading session ahead of Apple's earnings. So the Dow managed to hold in the green, but the Nasdaq was lower by about eight tenths of a percent. Apple went into its earnings uh, with with a one percent cut. Then post markets, the numbers came in. The iPhone revenues were just slightly below estimates, and EPS was more or less in line with what the street was working with. Remember, Apple has corrected a fair bit from the top. and that is when we saw the stock jump about 6% in after hours trade so to that effect today's move on the nasdaq will be more important talking about us china who better than tim cook to say uh, uh, what he's seeing in the ground and he said there was more optimism in the air also positive commentary coming in from white house economic adviser larry kudlow saying that uh, president donald trump is moderately optimistic about a deal before march 1 so those were the big news stories that came in from the us side of things but across the atlantic the european markets they ended high ahead of the key brexit vote good news coming in uh, uh, in terms of the spanish jobs employment data but the british lawmakers they vote down bid to prevent a no deal brexit so let's see what happens from here on given the deadline to exit the european union nears spanish jobs data unemployment rate has been the lowest in a decade so that was a positive in the asian markets though us china trade talks uh, way and most of the indices are on tenter hooks barring the kospi which has recovered from the lows the sgx nifty indicates a slightly softish start let's see where we go given the sort of uh, given the fact that crude has moved to 61 but the dollar index has weakened all right thank you very much uh, mangalam for giving us that backdrop uh, sgx nifty at the moment flat but uh, recovering a little bit uh, uh, but uh, there are two important events uh, in the uh, loan space that we need to take uh, uh, cognizance of the nclt the national committee law tribunal yesterday rejected the bid put in by sr and related parties the ruias and related parties for sr steel uh, we are now being joined uh, today of course the nclt will consider arcelormittal's bid Dinesh Kumar Khara the managing director of SBI joins us on the phone line now. Uh Mr Khara now will SBI rethink the sale of SR loans uh considering that this is moving quickly uh even if it were to be taken to the NCLAT which the Ruya lawyer said they would. Uh I think uh 
so we are quite open to uh, taking a call on the subject because our anxiety was in terms of realizing the money at the earliest and the kind of delays which were taking place mm. so that really prompted us to really examine the possibility of if we can offload uh, these assets to an auction process so that is something which happened so now since uh, there is a positive development there is definitive development which has taken place in the yesterday's judgment so we can re- we can revisit our uh, earlier stance where we wanted to unlock the value which was stuck in this money in, in this asset you have to revisit it on february 11th right that's what you said uh, yeah, until yeah. then you will watch now yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the chances are that uh, whatever the decision of the nclt maybe in a couple of days the ruyas will take it to the nclat if that were to happen will you persist with the loan sale so i think uh, we will evaluate at the material point of time how the circumstances unwind it uh, unwind and uh, then depending upon that we will take an appropriate call but you didn't get enough demand isn't it we were told i mean that was the uh, the the grape wine that uh, it, you're not getting a better deal than arslor is offering you uh well of course you know all these things are the commercial considerations at the material point of time how things will look like mm-hmm. that will that will probably prompt many others also to evaluate examine because essentially those who want to hold and maybe they would be the one the, who can who can come and bid so that mm. is i think let's wait and watch No, we are just worried that front companies will buy the loan and uh, enter the COC and initiate the process. You don't worry about that. Uh, well, of course, uh, there are concerns, but as a as a lender, you know, we have to at some point of time we have to think in terms of how to uh, get the money out. Also, okay. that is also a fact. Sure, yeah. Mr. Kara. Good morning. The other issue we wanted to discuss with you is reports indicating that SBI is likely to own fifteen percent of Jet Airways. If that debt for equity swap is approved, just want to know. I am not the right person to comment on this. No, sir, but I, now it is I, looking very difficult because some of the flights have gotten, some of the planes have gotten grounded. So, if you can give us some idea whether uh, talks are on and uh, the airlines will continue flying, uh, you, I'm sure you'll be uh, aware of that. No, that is okay, but I am not uh, the right person since I don't know the the complete set of information. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Karavi, leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us clarifications on some important issues.